Brandon. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 450, NASDAQ up 324, S&P's up 67. That's a gain, folks, inside the NASDAQ, 2.6%. Uh, S&P 1.6, Dow Industrials 1.4. Gold, gold contract down $10.70, trading at 1779 an ounce. You get silver down 15 cents, $19.89 an ounce. Platinum's off 14 at 890. You have light sweet crude down $3.66, $90.75 a barrel, and notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, Flat, 120.02, the 30-year off five ticks at 142.26 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up 252 at 106.493. Euro is at 101. Yen is at 134. And the British pounds at 121 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&P first. What do you have here? You got a trending market, no doubt, bottom line. Um, you know, you get the, 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 the spy. You know, this, you get divergence in a big way out here today, folks. And what it is is this. The SPY doesn't have the volume, like not even close. And in fact, uh, it's gonna get interesting watching this close because the first sell that we actually got all day was only uh, basically about eight minutes ago. So the number to keep on, on the SPY is gonna be the 413.03. We close underneath that, that's gonna get us divergence, meaning that the SPY wants to pull back. Now, that being said, NDX 100 is a different animal because what you have with the NDX, it's already over the June 1st level, it has volume, and it's gonna have volume today. What's so intriguing about this is that you're busting right through ice, too. Ice is set up at that 317, you just went through that like nothing, man. I mean, it's gonna have volume. So this is saying that the next stop here, yeah, this is getting interesting, man. I mean, you're talking like 335 or something. Well, let's look at this. Yeah, you're into the higher range, man. A close of a 317 gets you the higher range. That, you can make the case that, guess what, 371 is next, man. It's pretty intense. Gold. Gold contract out here. They slammed gold down this morning, slammed it to 1770. It rejected lower price. You do have light, light of volume. You have 142,000 contracts. That's saying that, guess what, you're building cars to get to higher price. Now, it's really intriguing that the dollar, it's almost like the market saw that the dollar wasn't gonna be able to hold price. The dollar, folks, today got to 106.819. Now, you gotta remember, the, the, the 106.792 is the number. So, you know, it's still higher. It's still higher by 232, but it's gotta get over that level in order to stay in the higher range. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.